and gentlemen, welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host Teddy, and today I'm just making a video sort of answering a question I get a lot in um, many different forms. So, you know, how do I pick the right PC, or how do I pick the right CPU, or how do I pick the right graphics card for my computer, and uh, and it's, you know, I get a lot of these questions all the time, and that's what I'm going to try answer with uh, this video. It's more generalized on how to pick um, the right computer for what you're going to be using it for. So the first question you're going to need to be asking yourself and sort of the first and second question um, kind of go together really well is uh, what are you going to be using the computer for and how powerful of a computer do you really need? So uh, most of you following this will probably be looking to get a computer for gaming and um, that's fine and a lot of people do these days. So the main question you guys will need to ask yourselves is how powerful of a gaming rig um, do I want to get? And that also goes off how much money do you want to spend. Um, but yeah, it will depend mainly on uh, what resolution you're going to be wanting to play at. So you're going to just be wanting to play at uh, 1080p, the main one that most of us play at. Or you're going to go a bit higher than that. You're going to look at 1440p. Maybe one of the high refresh rate 1440p monitors that I've tested quite a few of. They're really nice. Uh, or go even higher than that and go up to 4K gaming. So that's the sort of question you need to be asking yourself if you're going to be uh, you know, buying a gaming PC or building a gaming PC first, is how powerful do I want it to be? Now, if you're gonna be uh, getting something for productivity, you know, you do a lot of video editing, a lot of photo editing, then you're gonna need um, something pretty powerful, um, but in a different way for a sort of like workstation type stuff. So this will mainly depend on again how you know how heavy a stuff you're going to be doing with it. But when it comes to that, um, it's a little bit easier to pick just because there's not as much variance in terms of the graphics cards for workstation work and the CPUs and stuff for workstation work. It's it's a lot more um, limited and narrow, so that can make it quite a bit easier because you don't have such a huge selection. And then uh, for the people that are just going to be uh, using it for office type things or very basic things, browsing the web, maybe typing up documents, maybe not you personally, but if you're buying for a family member or something like that, then um, power doesn't really come into it then so much. It's more would probably be to do with price and also if it comes to a laptop, you know, battery life and other things like that are usually higher up on the, agen on the agenda for those people rather than, um, you know, straight up performance. So we'll start answering uh, those questions then, and, and give you a you know right a good idea on you know what to get for each one of those things. So we'll start with um, the people wanting something for basic use, you know, casual browsing web, typing documents, all of that type of thing. And honestly, for those people out there that just want a computer for doing that sort of thing, I probably wouldn't recommend getting a desktop PC anymore. I don't really see the need for it anymore to own a desktop if you're only going to be doing those very um, basic things like that like browsing the web you'd probably rather have the mobility of being able to move the computer around very easily um, over you know having a desktop and now if you're one of those people that are worried about uh, you know not having a proper keyboard or anything you can always just plug one in and that will get around it or if you want a bigger screen you can just plug in one in but then you still have a nice laptop where you can carry around Something like this, which I'll be uh, reviewing soon, the um, X1 Carbon ThinkPad. Um, you know, just a little nice sort of uh, ultra book like this, thin and light laptop, you know, that gets really good battery life, gonna be really nice, you'll be able to take it around with you very easily, and it's gonna do everything you need it to uh, on the go, as well as when you're at your desk working. I mean, you just may as well just go with something like that, um, if that's all you're gonna be doing. Any more so if, you're just purely going to be browsing the web and it's not really for any office type work I would just go with something like a Chromebook um, very cheap very affordable and they will do you very uh, well for just browsing the web and doing casual things like that so that's where I would go there now for those wanting a workstation you can also go with a laptop if you really want to there's a few workstation laptops out there now that you can pick from uh, that's if you're going to be working on the go, you, you do a lot of traveling for work and you need to bring it with you. Um, there are quite a few out there that have um, workstation graphics cards in them. That's really what you want to be looking for when getting a workstation uh, computer is 
look and make sure it has the workstation graphics card in it, say from NVIDIA you have to Quattro. So um, look for that, not only in the workstation laptops, but in a workstation um, desktop that you might be having. And then uh, that will pretty much be where you need to go. If you're needing something with uh, more CPU sort of number crunching power, depending on what you might be doing, uh, look at the uh, Extreme series from um, Intel, and that has some you know very serious number crunching potential in it. And there's the Xeons as well. If you want to go absolutely crazy, however, those CPUs will set you back uh, quite a lot. But uh, yeah, something like a 5960X, if you want to go you know, for, for a real good number cruncher, a CPU like that will be very, very good for your type of workstation needs. And lastly, the gamers. Um, so for gaming, it's more about the graphics card again, but that's what you want to be building the computer around. Now, I made a whole uh, video about how to pick the right graphics card, and I'll leave that in the description down below, because you really want to be watching that. But that's what you want to do. You want to pretty much build the entire gaming PC around the GPU. So uh, watch that video. Hopefully uh, my video about how to pick the right graphics card will help you get the right one. And then you just want to basically fill out the rest of the build with all the other things you might want for it. Um, if you're not exactly sure, go to your computer store and talk to them and say, hey, I want to build a rig around this specific graphics card. And then they should be able to fill in all the blanks and all the other areas because CPU doesn't matter that much for a gaming PC. You can probably get away with, you'll definitely get away with any of the i5 Intels these days, but you could also easily get away with some of the higher i3 processors even um, for most of the games nowadays. You're not really gonna need the i7 unless you're also gonna be doing some productivity stuff also like I do, so I have an i7 in my rig but you should be able to get away with the i3 or i5 for gaming just fine. You just have to look at the graphics card and really pay attention to that and really read up on that because that's what you're going to be building the system around. Now, the other thing uh, to consider is are you going to be, if you are going to get a desktop, are you going to buy it pre-built or are you going to build it yourself? Um, so if you're in New Zealand and you're wanting a really uh, well-built custom computer where you can pick all, the, um, pick all the parts you want in it and they'll build it for you, I suggest you check out Playtech. I've seen how these guys build uh, their custom PCs and they're really methodical about it. It's really good So uh, and I would trust them building any PC for me any day. Um, so that should say something because I've spent so long building computers. Um, but yeah, if you want uh, a company to build one for you with all the parts you want, that's quite good. They'll often give you a warranty as well. You know, uh, depends which company it is uh, that if it breaks, you can just bring it back to them and they will sort it out. So that's a nice thing um, if you don't really want to do it yourself. However, there's a lot of people that do want to uh, do it yourself. So there's plenty of um, guides out there on how to build a PC. I've done a few on this channel, not so official as like a guide, but I've done plenty of builds and you could probably follow along very easily on uh, what I'm doing. It's it's not as daunting as you might think. It's very easy. It's basically like adult Lego. You know, everything just plugs into place. Everything's very easy, so don't be uh, scared off by it. But um, definitely do your research first and really learn how to do it um, beforehand or else, you know, you can still make some mistakes. And we do hear stories about people making um, some pretty amateur mistakes and, and destroying their rigs. So uh, that's that's basically the best way I can say to do it if you're looking to build your first PC. And the last point uh, I want to make is if you're a person that is struggling to know what parts to buy in the rig, um, then hey, you know, comment on videos like this one or any of my videos, you know, usually, or anyone else, any other tech reviewer. Usually the community is quite good at recommending different things, but basically just do your research. That's how most people find out um, what's good and what's not. Just watch reviews, do your research, watch comparisons with GPUs, watch my showdowns, and you'll be able to see which one I recommend is better. Um, so that will really help you. But uh, if you don't have that much time or you just want to sort of get right, get straight into it, then yeah, go to a really good um, computer store and just talk to the staff there and be like, hey, um, these are my requirements and they should be able to um, basically fill in the blanks of what, what they reckon will be best for you. Now some bad shops might take you for a ride if you do that, but there's a lot of credible ones which don't and the people there will just try help to get the uh, you know best parts for your budget and that will uh, really help you. 
So I hope this uh, clears it up a bit. I just wouldn't want to make this video a bit more basic to help people that are maybe new to computer gaming or new to tech and um, computer tech that is into how to get into it and how to figure out some of these things and basically what way to go about it. So hopefully that answered um, some of your questions. And uh, if you have any others, uh, put them in the uh, comment section down below and I'll go through and answer. I get you know quite a few comments these days so I can't really reply to every single one. But uh, I'll make, uh, I'll try more specifically for uh, this video to um, answer as many comments as I can down in the description, um, any questions you might have regarding parts or a PC that you are thinking about building or anything like that. I'll try my best and I'm sure all the other great fans of Tech Showdown will also try to help you out. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.